Hello. In this video, I'm going to explain how to implement the BFH plus algorithm using a plugin for Copelesi. This is a plugin that I have created to demonstrate how this motion planning algorithm works. In the video description, I have included some information about how to get this plugin, and I also recommend you to watch the explanatory video about the BFH plus algorithm as, as indicated in the video description, if you're not familiar with this algorithm, since I will assume that you know how it works. So the aims of the presentation are, on the one hand, to explain how to configure Copelisim to be able to use the BFH plugin, and to be able to use such plugin uh, to avoid obstacles trying to reach a goal. I will explain uh, the plugin's API, so that's it, the set of functions that I that you, you need to use in order to make it work. And particularly, I will describe the parameters that are required to make this plugin to work properly. As also, uh, I will explain some of the return data so you can use it to uh, understand how this plugin works. So we will start by preparing the simulation scene. So we need to create a dummy that will be child of the Pioneer P3 DX robot, and it must be aligned with the wheels with the X, Y, and Z axis pointing towards uh, or as indicated in the figure. So to access the robot position, we will need to implement this code. Uh, on the one hand, uh, we will access to the robot handle of the object that I have previously created, and we will create a pose variable with the current robot configuration or pose. And this variable will be updated in the syscall sensing function and just simply by calling the update robot pose function. And as you can see, this function returns a vector or a table with the position x, y and the robot orientation. Later, we will need this variable in some of the functions uh, to be used. In addition, um, we will add also a Hikuyo URG 04LX laser sensor. You will find this sensor inside the sensors category of the Copelisim model browser. Note that there are three different models from the same sensor uh, for, the, for the same sensor. So I have to use, or I have used the second one. Uh, so once you add it in, uh, into the scene, uh, the sensor appears as a fast Hokuyo. You must place this sensor just above the robot, just on top of it, and you need to make it child of the robot. So uh, when the, whenever the robot moves, the sensor will also uh, move as well. Also take into account the sensor orientation as shown in the figure, so uh, we can cover the front side of the robot. In order to access to the laser sensor data, we need to implement the get measure data function in the code script associated with the laser sensor. Okay, so there's a script associated with this uh, laser sensor and we need to access to this script. So the, this function actually just simply returns an internal variable with the X, Y, and Z data points of the laser sensor. And then we need to implement the get laser points function inside the robot script code. This, this function indeed will call the get measure data function to obtain laser data. But since they are in separate code snippets, we must use the call script function uh, on uh, the uh, Copelisim API to get such information. The get laser points function will actually return a list with X and Y coordinates of each of the points uh, returned by the laser sensor. So Copelisim allows you to create your own plugins, so and you need to compile those plugins using uh, Qt. It's a uh, um, the environment um, uh, software for uh, for developers. So after uh, compiling this plugin, uh, the the dynamics uh, the dynamic libraries that are generated in the uh, once compiled, you need to copy uh, into the uh, Copelisim uh, binary folder. You need to copy the results of the of the compilation in Windows. You need to copy the DLL file. While in, in Linux and Mac OS, you need to copy the SO or the DYLib file respectively. Okay, so you need to copy the dynamic libraries inside the uh, the binary uh, folder of Copelisim. Once copied, in order to check that the plugin has been uh, detected properly, after starting Copelisim, you you can see in the console message uh, a, a message indicating that the plugin has been successfully loaded. Okay, so please check our 
check that it's working properly before going on. So uh, the plugins API I have created, uh, it's uh, for implementing the, the BFH plugin, uh, algorithm, sorry, it's rather quite simple. It has an initialization function that you must call inside the syscall init function that will be in charge of allocating all required memory. It also has three functions that will allow you to obtain polar histograms, a desired movement direction, and also the angular speed uh, of the wheels to be applied. And these functions will normally called uh, within the syscall actuation function. And finally, there's a function to free all previous allocated memory that will be called in the syscall cleanup function. Here, I detail uh, the input and output arguments of each of the functions. Okay, so let's start with the init function that accepts two input arguments with the algorithm parameters. Here, you can see that the required order of the, of the parameters that the function is expecting. And also I include a brief description on, on them and also indicate the expected units of each of the parameters. Later, I will explain what each of these parameters they represent. The algorithm assigns a default value for each of the parameters, so you can even provide an empty list for each of the parameters and then you will use in the default values. In case of an error, the function will return minus one, otherwise it will return zero. The get histogram function returns the polar histograms computed by the algorithm. That is the, pi the primary, the binary, and the mass histograms. It needs data from uh, rate sensors. Um, in particular, this function is prepared to process data from a laser sensor, although it is also processed, or it's, it's prepared to process data from ultrasound sensors type. Uh, although this, this feature is not described here in this video. So if no sonar sensor is available, please provide an empty list. So in the, indeed, in the laser scan input argument, we must indicate a sequence of x, y points detected by the, uh, the laser sensor, which is actually the, the information that was returned on the functions previously described. So this function uh, returns the primary, the binary, and the mass histograms. These are in the tables with information from each of the sectors of uh, the algorithm. The binary and the mass histograms return a table with Boolean variables being true in case of a sector is occupied or false if it's free. Only the mass histogram will be used to determine the desired uh, direction of movement, while the other two histograms uh, can be printed in the console, and that will help us to understand how to tune the algorithm properly. The get direction function evaluates the mass polar histogram and determines the desired direction of movement, so for this purpose, you need to provide the position of the robot. This is a table with the position and the orientation as, as we explained before. And also we need to provide the position of the target. The function returns three arguments. The first one is the desired or selected direction of motion. The second one is the, the, the target uh, or where, where the target direction is pointing to. And the third one is a table or a list with all candidate directions uh, found in the mass histograms. All these values represent actually angles with respect to the robot orientation. And only the selected direction will be used to compute the actual motion, while the other two uh, output arguments can be used just simply to display internal algorithm results. And finally, the getMotion function allows you to obtain the angular speeds of the robot wheels. Uh, this requires the nominal linear speed, the selected direction, and also the robot pose and the target uh, position. Here, I explain some of the parameters that are required by the plugin. Um, the laser scanning angle determines the field of view of the algorithm, so all possible directions that we will compute within this algorithm have to be inside or within the range of this uh, parameter. And also the sector angle will determine somehow the number of sectors uh, that the algorithm is using and hence the, the size of the histograms. The safety distance is used to lurch laser uh, detected points, so they have a possible influence on neighborhood sectors, while the stopping distance determines the region from which the robot must stop if the target is within that region. And the window size allows you to determine the size of the health hist histogram. This uh, 
cell histogram is actually used to build the primary uh, histogram. And a fundamental parameter is also the cell size, which determines the resolution of that cell histogram. Additionally, uh, the algorithm uses three parameters that will have influence on the number of candidate directions that you obtain uh, in the mass histogram. So on the, on the one hand, we have the binarization thresholds that we use to determine what sectors of the primary histogram are considered to be free or occupied. And on the other hand, we have the minimum number of sectors that are required, so we consider the valley to be a wide valley. Also, uh, the weights used to determine which is the best candidate direction, the one that minimizes the objective function. And this is the, actually the one that affects to the final decision of the algorithm. And these weights are associated to the distance with respect to the target direction. Uh, another one is uh, a distance with respect to the previous uh, taking direction and also with respect to the current robot direction. So, most of the cases, uh, it's interesting to visualize some of the results of the algorithm. So, and here I just simply show you a code that I used to draw some lines to represent three sectors, also the selected uh, direction and the target direction, as well as some candidate directions. This visual information can significantly help uh, you to understand what is happening in particular situations. So to draw these lines, uh, we use the odd drawing object function of uh, Copilism API that basically if you copy this code, it will return the handles of objects to be drawn. And um, also it is expected we remove these objects at the end of the simulation. Here I include the draw sectors and draw sector functions uh, that will allow you to draw these lines using the information obtained uh, from the algorithm, such as the directions and the mass polar histogram. It needs some extra variables that we need to uh, provide, such as the handle of the laser sensor um, to obtain its position, but, and also some um, parameter of the algorithm, such as the safety distance and the sector angle. I have underlined those variables and parameters as we need to provide uh, with different colors to properly run this code so you can identify them and, and you know how, how to make it work. Okay, so in this video, I have explained how to use uh, a plugin implementing the BFH plus algorithm in Copelisim. In the next video, I will show you how it works. Thank you very much.